Good morning to our morning prayer. The service begins on page 78. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may walk delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive us all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into the courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Our psalms today are Psalm 61 and 62, starting on page 668. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day I will fulfill my vows. For God alone, my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me, all of you together, as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall? They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. And God, God is my safety and my honor. God is in my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath, all of them together. Put no trust in extortion, in robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it. That power belongs to God. Steadfast love in, you, in yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come opposite Messiah, they attempted to go to Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So passing by Messiah, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Semethras the following day to Neapolis, and then from there to Philippi, which is a leading city in the district of Macedonia and Roman colony. We remained in the city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the women who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatria and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Now the reading of a canticle, a song of praise found on page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and exalt you forever. When the great, a reading from the Gospel of John. When the great crowd of Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The next day, the great crowd had come to the festival they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. So the crowd that had been with him, when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead, continued to testify. It was also because they heard that he had performed this sign that the crowd went to meet him. And the Pharisees said to one another, you see, you can do nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. We will read Canticle 17, found on page 93. A Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations 
and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will now read the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We'll say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll go to suffrages on page 98. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. <clears throat> day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. But we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. We'll go to colics found on page in, in colic renewal on page 99. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into, the, into morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and to guide our feet in, into the way of peace that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A colic for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but we may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace, peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh, and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I invite you now to offer your own prayers. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord 
to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.